Hello everyone and welcome to Dead Space 3 Awakened. This is our first episode of the DLC for the game which takes place after the game has been completed. Somehow Isaac and Carver survive the moon crash onto the planet of Tau Volantis and we're going to now experience a story uh, of them, I guess, trying to find their way back home? Confusion? Last time we finished the game, the main story, you know, we did the whole thing, witnessed, you know, crashing down the moon, preventing convergence, and being like, oh, cool, Isaac's sacrifice, and Ellie gets away, and that's it. However, as per this DLC, that is not the case. Uh, so I've just dropped us in to the game. Luckily you can pause during the opening cutscene as it has just begun. So we're continuing same difficulty. Uh, just I went into chapter select and select awakened. So I assume it should continue on with, you know, having that same progress that we've already made. Um, and yeah, on hard difficulty. So let's continue playing Dead Space 3 with the awakened DLC. the planet. It pulled a moon out of the sky. We don't know what that technology can do. So that's it? We were saved by fucking aliens? I quit trying to make sense of it all back on the Ishimura. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on! This, this can't be real! Wait, what are we supposed to do now? Well, for starters, get the hell out of here. And go where? Back to Earth? Yeah. If we're dead... We can do what we want, right? Right. Carver just being the audience right now. Of just like, this can't be real. We should be dead. But the developers said no. More story is required. Awakened One, Requiem. Find a way out. Check this suit out as well. This is looking... Yeah, alright. Um, confusion. Yeah, we're just here. We don't know what that technology can do. And then Isaac saying, yeah, I kind of like, I stopped caring back in the Ishimura. I don't know what's going on anymore. Just sci-fi. Hand wave. Hand wave it away. <laughs> uh, we do pick up with exactly the same gear that we left off with. So there you go. And we have, uh, you know, just chatting to Carver. Come on. Looks like this is the only way. Well, yeah, Carver's the only one who's really questioning this properly, and and Isaac's just like, yeah, we're alive. Let's let's go back to Earth because we're dead. We can do what we want. Um, and he's not really Isaac. Really, ain't processing anything there, is he? Like, there's no emotional continuation from what he just witnessed and leaving behind Ellie and all that kind of stuff. He's just like, fuck it, dude. We survived. Let's go home. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Let's go. So bizarre. All right, let's climb out of this hole and see so, what the planet looks where like. Are we? Don't know. Buried underground, I guess. Keep climbing. <sighs> Anytime you want to jump, that's good with me. There you go. Thank you. Oh. oh. At least there doesn't sound like there's any imminent threat of danger. 
which is nice. We like, I mean, we've dealt with the threat. That's the thing that's kind of also very interesting because we we read the sort of synopsis almost when we're like downloading it. So it has something to do with a unitologist cult instead of necromorphs because we so we did kill the moon. We dealt with it. There it is. Why's it way over there? Its orbit must have carried it westward as it was pulled down by the machine. I still don't understand how we survived. <laughs> Maybe we didn't. Well, I'd know if I was dead, man. Man, I don't even know what dead means anymore. Are we Necromorphs? Is this what they feel like after the... after the marker reanimates them? Could you be any more crazy? Hell no, we are not necromorphs. We killed the thing that makes them. At least we don't have to put up with that shit anymore. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. No more moon. No more marker signal. No more necromorphs. At least that's on our side. Yeah. Now we're just stuck on this godforsaken planet. Danik had a strong contingent down here hunting us. One of their ships has to be around here. Now that's a good idea. Let's get looking, dead boy. That's not funny. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> so... Where are you going? We'll find a ship quicker if we split up. You sure that's a good idea? Bad monsters are dead, Isaac. We won. Just call me if you find a ship. So... A moon of this size crashes onto the planet and it didn't absolutely eviscerate everything around it. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, everyone's fine, people are alive, Danic ships survive, Unitologists probably alive. So wild. Ooh. Oh, nice. That's great. Just a little bit of media fall. Never hurt anyone. Um, but yeah. Like, all of this shit should have been absolutely wiped off the map. And we still have power. We still got working environments. This is great. I love this wacky world of Dead Space. Where things just work. It just works, guys. So bizarre. Yeah, just some weird shit, yeah. But how's that possible? Who knows? Hey, don't freak out. Yeah. If you find a bench, use it. Load up just in case. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Still getting, like, marker... Messages? Visions? Dead Space Legends suit unlocked. Is that what we're wearing? Oh, no, we're just wearing the Arctic Survival suit. Um... Oh, it's called the engineering suit. Classic Dead Space suit, yeah. Of course I'm gonna wear it. Of course I'm gonna wear it. Get me in that, get me in that classic Dead Space armor. So, yeah, Tau Volantis is now a graveyard with a moon in it. Everything's still working and it's just fine. Um, but we're still getting, like, visions and hallucinations somehow. So, uh, there you go. Look at that suit, so nice. Just a, a neat, fully upgraded rig for you. Yeah, that's cool. I don't think there's anything I really need to do at the bench, but... Oh yeah, we unlocked the three... I take that back, dude. I take that back. We unlocked the plus three stuff. We unlocked the the mods. And then we can construct them as well. There you go. Alright. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. We got the big boy mods on now for these for these weapons. So played around, had a look at everything. We we've we've got we've got this shit covered. <laughs> <laughs> on across both of on both weapons absolutely nothing to worry about so we took 
We took Isaac's advice. We we bench prepped. We bench prepped. What the fuck? Okay. Okay, this is weird. Why is... Why is Robert chilling? Alright, so everything's getting wacky and weird now. Okay, good. Ooh, the perspective. No. Ooh. You're dead! Hey! Hey, Norton! Oh my f No! No fucking way! We killed you! We killed all of you! Carver! Carver, they're still here! I know! They're over here, too! How? We must have missed something! I don't know! Ah! Why? What the fuck? What? This can't be real. How can there still be necromorphs? Does it matter? Yes, it matters. Either we're actually crazy, or we didn't stop the markers. Oh, God. Ellie. Isaac, Isaac, uh, we have to get back. We have to warn Earth. We need a ship. Keep looking. Okay. I feel like we're just hallucinating all of this shit. And I'm so annoyed that Robert's body got disappeared because I was looking forward to yeeting his head across the space once again. <laughs> that sucks. What the fuck? All right, so... I feel like we're navigating a hallucination. Otherwise, if the necromorphs are just here, then it's stupid as fuck. But we'll see how it goes, I guess. But yeah, like if the, if there's just still necromorphs just because game is need to make enemies happen, then no thanks. Was it worth even doing this? All right, let's 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 keep an open mind. Let's keep an open mind. I'm gonna judge it too harshly. I'm gonna just wait and see what happens and what it all means. They are hungry. They are coming. We're gonna wait and see what it means. What's this shit like? All this red stuff coming out of the ground now, though. Ooh, okay. Hello, Earth. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm What in the fucking doom bullshit are we experiencing right now? Okay, leave me alone. Moon must have contacted the others before we could kill it. Then we really have to get to Earth and warn everyone. But I don't think they know where Earth is yet. Good! Then let's hurry the fuck up and find a ship! So the other moon sent like a final little text message out upon crashing into the moon. It's like, hey, hey, hey guys, I'm, I'm crashing, but please wake up and go cause chaos now in the universe. Uh, and... I was like, what the f- are we about to- are we getting introduced to like 
something even like above the moons for a second there. It was like the council of fucking tentacle planets that like were just hanging out there. We are the great ones. We are orbs and we are pondering. Oh, I'm back here again. Uh, God, they just do be pondering their moons, don't they? Let's shoot a bunch of planet killing nuclear weapons out into the galaxy at every single moon and just move on with our lives. Okay, so maybe after all, it's not a hallucination, but in fact, more bullshit. <laughs> um, Robert's body being there is obviously doesn't make sense. That's kind of something that kind of throws that off the trail of it being very much like hallucinating shit. Oh wait, and we still got these. Okay, we still got these bad boys. Oh, this chain gun is beautiful. God damn game. This is one hell of an awakening then. It's not the awakening of Isaac and Carver on the moon, it's the awakening of the other moons. Which way are we going? Oh no. What the fuck? These look different. Oh my god. They're like those same ones but more fucked. What the f... No. The screaming. I'd rather not. Thank you. Where did that head come from? This is insanity, as usual. What to what to expect out of Dead Space? You know, <laughs> more fucking more fucking random crap. And then we find a ship, and then we get off of here, and we go to Earth to warn Earth, apparently. Okay. This is why I usually have that chain gun on. Okay, how many do you want to throw at me? Still coming. This ride never stops, does it? They are coming, they are hungry. Oh, hello. Belief in convergence cannot die. A voice has spoken to me and told me the way. We can take our place in final unity, but we must reach for it. Evacuate all remaining ships into orbit, and I will lead the way. They are coming. They are hungry. Isaac, that's our ride. We gotta find one of their ships before they're all gone. There's gotta be some close by. It won't let me shoot with any other weapon except the chain gun. Obviously, the then the chain gun doesn't do anything. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Well, this is fun.
hungry, hungry moons, baby. Coming to make convergence happen still, even though the whole point of Dead Space 3 was to stop it once and for all. There ain't no stopping this train we're on, baby! But then there's no continuation after this, so I wonder how this is going to resolve, or what the cliffhanger is going to be for the Dead Space that we never got after this. The Dead Space 4 that never happened. Hey, oh, 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 ah. That's a thing. Yep, this is a thing. You back off. Oh my god. I guess this is like, this feels like, you know, some sort of cliffhangery DLC that would like connect to a potential Dead Space 4 or something like to continue the horror franchise because that's like something that horror games fall, like horror as a media trope that like, falls into sometimes uh, is endless sequels to just continue the story. Like, all of the Freddy movies and Chucky's and Aliens and all of that kind of stuff where it's iconic to the point where they just can't let it go. So, stories never have, like, this actual eventual conclusion. It's always just like, we need the next zinger to keep the horror flowing. Instead of, you know, give it an actual proper ships. end. Do you see them? They're taking off. There's not gonna be any left. Head towards the ships. Hurry! I, I gotta say, the Dead Space 3 ending uh, is like fitting for the for the ending to close off a story and cap it out as a trilogy, so this feels like weirdly tacked on at the moment. Just for the sake of more Dead Space. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this is going to wrap up. Text log found. Thought diary. Vested Randall Carr. We all saw the moon awaken with great spectacle. It parted the clouds, bringing with it glorious convergence. And so we waited for the end, hands clasped, staring skyward. Then came a brilliant flash of green light from the moon itself, and it began to grow larger. But it wasn't increasing in size, it was falling. Falling to the planet's surface and burning the sky as it fell. The impact was cataclysmic. As it shocked the wave, uh, as the shockwave covered us, I knew death would take us, the first step towards our eternal future. Yet we lived. Yeah, exactly. It was like, yet we lived. They are coming. They are hungry. They are coming. Where's my ship? Oh no. Oh, shit. I cannot. Oh great. You're gonna also add a blizzard in here with these bad boys. I see. Ugh! Best way to cover yourself with these guys is rockets. Come get me. Oh! So, we are currently looking at, like, evolved versions of certain creatures. Like, the stalkers now look like this. Whoa! And they come out of fucking nowhere and they look fucked, dude. So, stalkers look different now. Those fucking starving uh, skinny monsters. They just overwhelm you, look fucked up as well. So the monsters and uh, the necromorphs have now like evolved almost into something else with the new moon's awakening.
Let's just move on with our lives. How fucking many ships do they have? Where's mine? Where's my ship at? Crap, there goes another one. We're gonna get stranded down here. It was closer. There might be more nearby. Okay, so we're having visions of the moon. Flashes of the moons. The moons! Can anyone hear me? My co-pilot just threw himself into the engine and ground the turbine to a halt! Everyone is losing their minds! I can see other ships taking off. Why won't anyone respond? If anyone can hear me, we're on the roof of the vehicle depot in the command center courtyard. Convenient. I need a ship. Ah! Appropriate response to this scenario, bro. That's the kind of mentality is like a lot of people think that like when the eventual apocalypse comes, they're gonna be like some survival hero badass type dude or gal or, or you know, you know what I mean? Just a badass, badass human. Whereas realistically, most of us would just end it <laughs> immediately, or um, or just not last very long, you know. Thought diary: When the sky had cleared, we gazed upon our failed Messiah, fallen Messiah. Uh, its heavenly body loomed tall where it met the horizon, looking more like a cracked egg than the bringer of unity. Everyone felt the wave of discordance that followed. We turned to each other with anxious glances, faith draining from our faces. Was this what we had fought and died for? Was this the end of our religion? It was at that moment our cries were answered for a sound pierced the sky and filled our hearts. It was shrill and deafening at first, but soon a voice emerged. We are coming, it spoke. Make ready the way. Well, there you go. The plot continues. Alright, we are stocked up. We're definitely not at a point where we're desperate for stuff anyway. We don't really need items. But I'll drop some shit off while we're here. And our scavenger bot is here now as well. What's that musical cue for? It's not just us. Everyone is going insane. Oh, good. Any ships yet? Maybe. Can you get to the vehicle depot? The one at the command center? Yeah, yeah, I'm almost there now. Hey, I see it! Isaac, there's a ship! I know. That's why I asked if you could go Isaac, there. Isaac! Up here! Okay, up I go. Yeah. Oh, shit! Not again! Oh, What the f- oh my god. Bruh. Hey! Didn't you hear me? What? I was just being attacked. You've been standing there doing nothing. I said yep. the ship needs fuel. Hit the switch on the big tank down there. Yep. It's all being hallucinated. It's all being hallucinated. Love it. What do you mean I'm just wasting this ammo for nothing? So it's all in my mind because it says that I'm standing. He says that I'm standing there doing nothing, but I'm very clearly shooting. Oh my god! So are we hallucinating the? Are we hallucinating the whole moons 
thing as well. The other people. What is real, what isn't. They're really getting us with that, aren't they? Okay, they can do damage to me. <laughs> so... <laughs> God damn. Okay. <laughs> so now we're just having encounters in our in our head. I mean the fact that we're still hallucinating in general says some some of this is has gotta be real and actually happening. Of course. Here, it's just a little. Oh no. Oh no what? Uh, the shock drive on this thing is out. It's only got impulse. So we're stuck. <sighs> just stuck on this star system. We can make it as far as the flotilla. We'll just have to find something up there to play with. We'll make it home. Don't worry. Worry? I don't know if I'm dead or alive. What's the worry? <laughs> so now we fly up to, uh... Fly up to the Terra Nova. Not sure what to think as of right now. It's very curious. Let's pull in here. Terra Nova? Why? I'm reading one of the Unitologist transponders. It's coming from the cradle. What happened to the other ships? Blown up in the minefield, I guess. Keep scanning for ships that are intact. I'm gonna have a look at this one. Wow. Looks pretty messed up. Awaken to up. infidels. No, it's been gutted. Gutted? What the hell for? Maybe they took it onto the Terra Nova. I'm gonna head in. Yeah, yeah, okay. You you check the bridge. I'll poke around and engineer. Interesting. So... I don't know, man. <laughs> so we're back on Terra Nova, and this is... This is What's so funny about this is we haven't been... You don't need air for the whole, like, ground section of the game. <laughs> so, like, upgrading your rig with air upgrades is so funny once you get past, like, being in space because you don't really ever need it. Like, air never really comes into play in this game in a way that it makes you feel like you're in trouble. You already have, like, a really high amount of default air and upgrading it has given me like 400 seconds, so it's it's chill. Because <laughs> now the next time you return to space is in a DLC episode. Okay, so we're in Awakened Chapter 2, I guess. Infidels. It's weird being back up in space, I guess. Enter and be judged. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, you think you can lift the lockdown? I'm about to find out. Yeah, did you hear that? Completely doesn't even acknowledge how, like, fucked that is, and just like, yeah, can you lift the lockdown? 
Enter and be judged. Okay, so the Unitologist, instead of going home, we're just like, what if we didn't go home and we just started a crazy cult on the Terra Nova in space? That sounds fun. <laughs> it's a great idea. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Let's have a look. Need some elevator music. Every time we get stuck in an elevator, it's like we just need some music. Oh my god. Where'd they get all the candles from? Where's their candle budget? How'd they make this happen? They really got to work on, on decorating the place really quickly, didn't they? Carry us home. I think just like the the thing for me that I just kind of like struggle to take seriously at points is um, the fact that they did all this set design and decor immediately. What the fuck, bro? What the fuck? They re yeah, like they really just had a makeover straight away. They they got to work. They wasted no time. They wasted no time getting crazy. <laughs> With the voice came a wave of uncontrollable expressions of faith. One of the more devout in our group chose to meet the voice sooner rather than later and scattered his brains on the ceiling. The rest of us left the planet to make ready the way as the voice commanded, but in our haste we failed to anticipate the ancient space mines still floating in orbit. Many of the faithful were called home. The rest of us have regrouped at an intact derelict ship, the Terra Nova. We managed to salvage a shock point drive from the wreckage of one of our dropships and hope to adapt it to the Terra Nova's reactor. But our group is splintering. Faith has given way to madness and a new church is forming. My only hope is to get this ship functioning so we can return to Earth before we are all taken by these new distractions. Yes. Okay. <laughs> This, this uh, religion splintered super quickly, didn't it? Into just... Fuckery. Crazy town. It's now open. Crazy town. Barbara, I'm heading to the tram. I should have the shock point drive soon. Good. I'm not far from the reactor. I'm gonna go see what shape it's in. Alright, pal. We're going to level three. Ah, uh, Isaac. Oh, okay. You all right? Voices in my head. They want me to. They want me to lead them. Well, don't listen to them. We need to get home. <laughs> don't listen to them, man. What if that's what they want us to do? Uh, Isaac, when people hear voices in their heads, it means they're going crazy. You are going crazy. All right? Now get the fucking shock point drive. Shit. So, lead us. Isaac will get the drive, fly back to Earth, and that will lead them back to know where Earth is. Even though for some reason this is like, oh, ho, ho, ho. this is like one of those weird things in video games where humanity and Earth and all that kind of stuff becomes like way more important in the grand scheme of things than it probably should be. Is like, why does it matter if we go to Earth specifically? <laughs> like, the, the galaxy has been, you know, colonized. You got people out there in space doing things all over the place. Earth is just one of many places. Um, I guess it just really, like, they need to do that thing in, like, sci-fi and fantasy where they connect it. They need to have something that viewers as an audience can, like, relate to. When they're like, ah, oh, yes, Earth. That's where I live. That's an important place, you know? But when you think about it objectively... They're like, lead us to Earth, and we will take over specifically Earth. <laughs> it's just like, okay. <laughs> take us to your leaders. Holy shit. This is, this is something else, though. That's, uh, yep, that's something. <laughs> it appears there aren't many of us left now who haven't submitted to the new church. Well, because you haven't even given it a name yet. They hunt us in packs, going corridor by corridor, trying to flush us out. They've taken to wearing their ceremonial hoods, but I can still recognize some of them. I can't be sure whose face is under their leader's mask. He claims to speak for the voice and has gotten everyone obsessed with turning the ship into a church. 
As unitologists, we are taught from an early age that our bodies are sacred vessels that will be united when convergence comes. But this new leader teaches that our bodies are imperfect. He literally hews away at the body's imperfections, replacing them with grotesque appendages in honor of the voice. He makes his followers gather the castoffs in baskets as offerings. I don't know how much longer I can evade them. Well, they're literally like trying to... It looks like they're actually transforming themselves into uh, necromorphs without turning. Like, trying to, like, have that visual style. They're just like, yeah, baby, I love how Necromorphs look. I want to copy that style, baby. Crazy Unitologists versus the not-as-crazy Unitologists plus Isaac. It won't let me shoot my gun. <laughs> Oh my god. Look at this shit. hallucinating the entire existence of the cult as well? What the fuck, bro? Like... <laughs> to the point where it's like, how many, how many of this shit, how much of this is real? Isaac, Isaac what happened? I, I don't know. I thought they, they were here, but... Uh, okay, okay, we gotta get out of here before you turn into a basket case. Can you reach the conning tower? Yeah, I can use the tram to reach the mid station. I should be there soon. Bruh, so it's like... What actually is taking place here? <laughs> like... You know what I mean? Like... It's super... Uh, it's super compelling. You know? Don't know how much I like it. Compels me though, you know? Super curious. Just be like, how much of this are we... What are we actually doing here, man? How much of this is real? Are we just walking through a dead station? Brothers, they are coming and they are hungry. Is your soul prepared to feed them? Or will you be judged unworthy and cast aside? Join me as we build a new church together. Not of brick and mortar, but of flesh and blood. Join me in a tribute so glorious that the heavens themselves will take notice. They are coming, my brothers, and we will be ready. Um, yeah, that's a thing. I feel like it's got to be like a mix. There's got to be like some now things... Arrive. Now arrive it. There are some things that are real and the some things that are not, and it's like mixing together. We have become too many, There's douchebag. Too little to go around. Corporations that we once trusted I just hate this guy speaking. The governments that we once trusted with our future. Oh. <laughs> you can't deny this shit is actually quite fucking cool though, man. <laughs> like, that's crazy shit. That's crazy, dude. Are you really not holding back on that shit? Stasis support. Oh, hang on, let me drop some shit off in this bench. And I'll play around for a bit again. And then we'll uh, continue past into the new church of flesh and blood. I see you approaching. Don't be afraid. All are welcome to be a part of our church. But what part will you give? An ear that you may hear their message? A tongue that you may spread their word? Or a head that you may understand their divine wisdom? I was going to make a comment that was like, I'm waiting for one of these things to like, just come off the wall and attack me. We just hallucinated one attacking us anyway. 
God damn. Can I have that, please? Thank you. doing another thing okay hello everybody welcome I'm, I'm new here it's my my first day I haven't quite got the cool little accessories that you guys have but holy fuck look at that can you see that they've cut their hands off and put on like fucking claw prosthetics with knives like that's fucking brutal shit man that's crazy looking at them up close is there any way I can like, you know, do it? Is there like a free trial period to this to this cult if I join, like where I don't have to cut my hands off? Is that good? I kind of need them. I kind of use them, you know. This suit doesn't have like the capabilities that Master Chief's does, so I need to kind of use those hands myself. Oh god! Oh, it's just one of you. You're one of those. You're one of those guys. I've dealt with you already. Okay, so we're back to these enemy types. Okay. Oh, oh, oh god, is that, is this the leader guy then? Ah, I can't even do damage to him, oh, what the fuck, how do you have stasis? Things are weird when you can hallucinate them, everything's fucking weird man. Oh, this room just, the room that keeps on giving dude, it's just every, every enemy type in the one room. Merry Christmas dude. Oh my god! Prepare yourselves the way that you may be found. We prepare. We purge the sins of our bodies, and we lift up our voices to them, that we may be found. Bruh, he's literally casting stasis on me and chasing me. me. Hey, hey, Isaac, take it easy. Are we doing the right thing, Carver? Huh? Are we? Don't huh? put them into your head, man! Now look, I've, I found the reactor. It's, it's all rigged up. We just need the shock point drive. Can you get it? Yeah, I can get then it. Then do that. This is fucked. Oh. oh. I tried to run, but my ankle caught in a hole in the catwalk and snapped. They dragged me to a closet until they could prepare the church. I suspect they mean to kill me. In these final hours, it's not the numbing pain of my ankle that preoccupies me or even fear of my life. I know I will die. What worries me is what will happen when I do. Is there even such a thing as convergence? We've been told our entire lives how wonderful it will be, but what we have witnessed is anything but. And this voice, are we instruments of its divinity or have we become the tools of our own destruction? I find myself hoping that none of it is true and that when I die, I will feel nothing and this nightmare will finally be over. I have only one more moment of pain to endure and then I will be free. So yet there, when it comes down to push and shove and they're being taken to this moment of just like, oh fuck, I think this is all actually a sham. It's like, what actually is gonna happen? And I just wanna be free of this. Oh my, dude. They're just being stalked by this dude. Who's not even real, but kind of is real, can, but can impact us by casting stasis on us, so... They are coming. So he's like, definitely a threat, but also at the same time, a figment of our imagination. <laughs> we just just we just being watched, bro. God damn. We're just full on everything. Oh. 
what are we even rocking? Like, we have so much health, dude. When... <laughs> Fuck's sake. Let me drop some of these, at least. And then I'll just regret it later. I just want the ammo clip. Can I have the, can I have the ammo? Thank you. I'm supposed to go that way, but I can go down here. Now oh, we got a bench, nice. Just this endless chanting, dude. It's so fun. Um, I think I want to do... I do want to have like a clip upgrade again for my top. Because yeah. I was able to have like 140 before. But now it's... hang on. 140. There you go. Fuck, that makes like 30 difference. It's insane. So now I can have 141. Do, 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 do. Oh, that lift was quick. Oh. They decorated. What kind of holiday are we celebrating? What is this? They got they got nice little tape and streamers with hands. With a little marker Christmas tree. That's what we need. Fuck me, dude. This is not what that dude who locked himself up in the conning tower would ever think that this place was gonna become. <laughs> When he hit out here with his cowboy hat and his traps. He's like, yeah, I did not expect this to happen. Get, get up and get. <laughs> Salvation. Ooh, another, another visit from the planets. Yep. What's up? That is quite a visual, huh? Oh, and oh, and it's you, and I'm I'm am slowed. I can't fucking move. Okay, just run away from him. He can't hurt you. That's right. I need to use this health anyway. Stop that! Whoa! The marker. It's glowing. Show us the way to Earth, Isaac. Yep, see? Like, what the fuck? Why is it? What's so important about Earth specifically? Show us the way to Earth, Isaac. See, yeah, I guess, like, humans do stuff. And they've been very deeply ingrained in this for a while. Look at that. But, like, show us to Earth. Look at these little hand Christmas trees. It's gorgeous. That is a sight to behold, huh? And we were just in that mess, you know? Just fine. Give me that shock drive. Carver. Great, now let's go home. We're not going back. No one can. What? Yes, we, we can. There's time to warn everyone. I, Isaac, we can save Ellie. If any one of us returns, they'll follow. We have to destroy the shock point drive. No! I, Isaac, bring the drive to the reactor. You've got to do this for me, man. Yeah, I'll bring it to the reactor so I can throw it in. Then we blow the whole thing to hell. No! Isaac, God! <laughs> we can save Ellie. Ellie's saved, bro. Apparently these people don't know the way to Earth for some reason. And they need us to do it. I don't know, fucking, I don't know man. It feels like this is going to end up being, like, uh, almost semi-redundant. 
I'm just giving you my impressions as they come, by the way. So I am I am keeping an open mind to see how this is going to wrap up. But it seems like this is almost redundant. Like, we do already did kind of like the sacrifice play to like save Ellie and like prevent all this stuff from happening. And it looks like we're about to do it again. So we'll destroy the shock point drive. And God. And this guy will part and we will prevent them from following us. And they will be devoured. And we become one with them. Complete the church. Complete the ship and lead us home. Make us whole. Carver, you have to listen to me. Oh, to you. <laughs> Isaac, your brain has been fucked ever since the Ishimura. One way or another, I'm taking that shock point drive. I'm not gonna let you kill Ellie. You were just fine letting her die as Danix hostage. You knew what was at stake. It's your fault the moons woke up in the first place. Fuck you! <laughs> and now the boys are fighting. Now the boys are fighting. Oh god. They're fighting over who's crazy and who isn't, really. <laughs> uh, this game feels like a collectathon at this point of all this shit that I can pick up. I feel like um, uh, this part of the the game, because it's got like certainly a lot of horror. It feels like they were trying to go back to doing a lot of horror stuff again, like just with all the spookies and the atmosphere and just being like, fuck yeah, full horror. But it feels like it's leaning so hard into it that it's like nothing about it is actually quite scary, unfortunately. It is just like run through and shoot the dude and then be confused that we're being chased by a guy that can't be shot. And hallucinating moons. Um, it's very like almost classic Dead Space, but and you better stay the hell out of my way. Try it, asshole. Very classic Dead Space, but with an annoying co-op companion who's fighting us and some just some dumb shit <laughs> going on. Brother, the age of man. Alright, we're going to the aft tower now, I believe. We have become too many, too little to go around. The aft station. Ahead we go! Dangerous but simple. I fastened an adapter to hook the shock point drive up to the reactor. And by overloading the reactor core, we thought we could generate enough energy to power it. I guess now we'll never know. The madness has torn us apart. We stopped listening to each other, stopped working together. Sad that I should carry my faith my whole life only to lose it right before I die. There is no hope for a future. No rebirth. Just death. For all of us. Having salvation written on the train no, is right. a neat touch. Engineering and repair. Bruh. <laughs> Look at this screen. This is like the unitolo is this like the unitologist founder? Ooh. No, I need a bench. I need a bench for I forgot to craft a new uh I forgot to new craft a new torque bar. For the first time in so long, I like forgotten all about having a backup one. Hold on a minute. I need it. Yay, bench. Okay, let's have a look. Open sesame. I'm like holding B the whole time, it's... it's okay, that was weird. <laughs> Hold B, but also tap B, because... Weird. I've done many a talk bar in my time, but still, that confused me. A diffraction torus. I'm out of room again. God damn it. Alright, hang on. I need to just sell some stuff at the bench, because this is not doing good. <laughs> I clearly need a bigger inventory. Give me that infinite inventory space. Oh, 
Oh, well, we have like 13 medium med packs. I can probably afford to sell a couple of them. And then I'll just make more if I need them. Mark two diffraction torus. There you go. Wonderful. Makes me wonder just how crazy New Game Plus. Not even that. It wouldn't be that crazy, but New Game Plus would just be pretty wild with uh, all these plus three mods and attachments. Just essentially breeze right through it. Shall we go interrupt this chant? That's far enough, Isaac. Carver, open the doors. I can't let you blow up the ship. Now you're gonna hand the shock point drive over to me. You got that? If you want it, you're gonna have to come in here and take it from me. Fine, your funeral. Are we gonna literally fight each other to the death now? Ooh. Okay. Fuck. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? We actually are fighting each other to the death now. What the fuck? Great. Now we're now we're just imagining him in different spots. I was like, surely he didn't just die immediately. Okay. He didn't just get blown up. What the fuck? You're a dead man, Isaac. You hear me? I will let you leave them home. I will do whatever the fuck I have to. I'm gonna find a way back. No, no one leaves. Just hold still, goddammit. Bruh. What the fuck is going on? Shoot bang. It's a gang bang, but with shooting. What are we doing? What are we doing here, man? Oh my god. God, the amount of flashes constantly in this game the earth draws near. drive you crazy. Even now, we can feel it. Teeming with life. Teeming with markers. From each world we devour, a new brother will rise and be made whole. Our network will grow, and we will live forever. The Council of the Moons. Oh, God. So we just wait for another glowy marker to pop up, and then we shoot it? Same one. Marker. It's glowing. So I can hurt you. Oh, oh. Oh, when we just damage the marker, we can damage the hallucination guy. Gotcha. How dare you stop me in place? How dare you stop me in place while I'm already stopped in place? Hey! I need another marker to glue, please. Thank you. Cool story. Cool story. They will 
will find us. They will oh. devour us. Bro. We will be made whole. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. So we did actually manage to damage him that whole time. Oh god. You were right, Carver. They were just trying to slow us down. They knew where Earth was all along. They're headed there right now. Do you still have the shock point drive? Yes, look. I'm gonna get this reactor going. Get to the bridge as fast as you can and get it prepped for flight. Hey, we're doing this? Yeah, Carver. We're going home. Are we really doing this? Um, so they knew where Earth was all along. Just jumping back and forth between stuff, isn't it? Like, ah, I can't let you take the shock drive because we can't go to Earth because we're going to take him there. Let's have a fight about it. Oh, no, actually, we're going to go to Earth now because they knew where it was all along. Uh, hell yeah. I don't know, man. Okay. I'm in the reactor. All right, there should be a makeshift Ooh. reactor set up along the walkway to the left as you exit the elevator. Do you see it? Hang on. I'll check it out. Is this a uh, zero grav sitch? I can't just... I can't enter zero gravity, so I don't think so. We got stasis coming into play, though. Look at this stuff. Ew. Just bigger versions of those things. Okay, I don't think we can do anything about them. Aha! Uh -huh. Opening containment shield. Warning. Reactor is active. Harmful radioactivity detected. Please maintain a safe distance from the core. What do I need to do? I need to do something with stasis. Isaac, the ship is an antique. Look, we're gonna need at least twice as much power to activate the shock point drive. If I can find some fuel orbs, I should be able to throw them directly into the core and force a power surge. Is that safe? No. <laughs> All right, there's like a release. This, these things are just launching fucking, okay, this is our first one. All right, give me a, give me a fuel thing. Oh God, I see, okay. And then we slow it down, and then we get one of these, and then... Oh, God. Uh, this is just the best timing. Look at that. <laughs> That's great. Warning. Reactor overload. Venting initiated. Hey. Isaac, I saw the energy level spike, but they're draining again. Shit. The heat sinks are venting the core. I'm gonna try shooting them to force the reactor to overload. Venting interrupted. Warning. Reactor capacity critical. Alright, next fuel thingy. Get stasis. Bam. Oh. <laughs> no. And bite. Warning. Reactor overload. Venting initiated. Venting interrupted. Warning. Reactor capacity critical. Detected. All hands hey, abandoned ship. Power. 
But it's fancy oh, radiation it's okay. all over Shit. the place. We've got to activate the drive before it blows. Well, get your ass up here before you fry. I'm trying. Reactor overload. Reactor overload. Reactor Death overload. Radiation levels detected. All hands abandon ship. All hands abandon ship. I'm gonna use an exhaust tube. To do what? To escape! The exhaust tube right 12 there. primed. Stand oh. by to discharge. Get launched, bro. Let's go. Launch me. Oh, I gotta manually do it. Launch me, baby. Holy fuck. Get that engine warmed up. Hurry up, this thing's shaking apart. Oh, it's, we're, we're doing just fine. Uh, okay. This is beautiful. Oh, hang on. Uh, and mines. Uh, oh, God. Damn. All without a scratch. If you don't get up here quick, we're going home in a million pieces. Almost there. Danger. Reactor overload. All hands abandon ship. Reactor overload. All hands abandon ship. Right, where am I going? Hang on, where am I going? Danger. Oh, Carver's here. Ah, oh, haha, this. Everything's just shaking like this. I can't fucking see anything. Let's go, boy. Let's go, let's go. We may just blow up. We may just get saved by aliens again. Just hit the damn button. Hit the damn button. Hyperdrive activated. We did it, Carver, you son of a bitch! We did it! Carver. Hey, Carver. We're almost there. Are we ready? Yeah, man, please. G shocking to Earth space in three, two, one. Nice. <laughs> nice. Earth Orbital Control, this is Isaac Clark aboard the CMS Terra Nova requesting clearance over. Oh, are you sure you got the right channel? This is over 200 years old. Yeah, no, change it over, right? Trust me. Trust me, it's right. Earth Gov Command, this is Sergeant John Carver. Do you read me? Is anyone there? It's weird. United Mining Traffic Flow, do you copy? Lunar Flight Control, this is CMS Terra Nova. Does anyone read us out here? Stinky! No! What a little... What a, what a poopy expansion. Oh my god, they just couldn't let it end, could they? So you arrive to Earth and all the planets are just hanging out. Moon Council said, fuck you guys, we're already here. And the moon is ours, and so is the Earth. To be continued in Dead Space 4. Oops! Aw oh, man. The expansion that never should have happened, probably, in my opinion. It was just like, it was just an excuse to just pump out some more gameplay, I guess. There were some interesting concepts in there, like crazy unitologist splinter cult thing that happens after the event is interesting. Uh, the hallucination stuff was like, 
oh, just like not having it actually, like what was the point of Dead Space 3, dude? Like what was the point of Dead Space 3 when you think about it? Like what you have to do in Dead Space 3, everything that, it was for nothing. Like Dead Space 3, like this, especially this expansion makes Dead Space 3 entirely redundant as like, what's the point? I was fine with how Dead Space 3 ended, because it is like that sacrifice, you know, you, you're putting a, putting an end to everything with, um, you know, with the markers and the convergence, all that, it's like, you did it Isaac, the marker signal stopped, and then it's like, oh, but we need to do a DLC episode where you can have some more gameplay, so here's a really weird story so we can try and continue the game after we ended the game, you know what I mean? Um, I reckon they could have probably done a DLC that would have been set during that 200 years ago period, like I was theorizing, like it would have been cool to like get some more out of that, uh, just get some more expansion and to actually be there in that prologue era, like 200 years ago in Tau Volantis would have been uh, really cool to like see some stuff for, for some more gameplay, but like continuing it on, having both Isaac and Carver survive to arrive at Earth when everything's just all fucked up with a cliffhanger of, oh god. It's just like, it, like nothing about that makes me go, oh my god, I want to see that game. I'm just like, oh, didn't we just, didn't we just do this? Didn't we just sacrifice everything to stop this? And that was just one moon on Tau Volantis. There's like a whole, whole council of them now, just like, and they can move, apparently. The, the moons just be traveling. Which is, which is a thing, I guess. <laughs> but I don't know, man. Um, I, nah. No, not for me, unfortunately. Um, gameplay is Dead Space gameplay, and Dead Space gameplay is pretty fun. Um, but yeah, man, it just like, I don't know what was going on here. I don't know the decision-making process in doing the Awakening DLC, but not about it, unfortunately. As much as, like, I love Dead Space. I would love to love it. I am unfortunately do not love it. I do think that it should have just ended properly and with finality, because then you don't run that risk of having to, like, we like weirdly try and continue a story and it feels so forced, and then you, you'll just have a negative viewpoint on that after all, you know? That's why I was like, man, now Dead Space 3 as a whole is, like, damaged by the Awakening story. So I'm just gonna pretend that Awakening didn't happen and they just hallucinated the whole thing and it was just, uh, like, if they, even if they survived on Tau Volantis, it just ended up being Carver and Isaac sat on some deck chairs staring out over a Tau Volantis sunset going, we're there, we're at Earth, Carver! And they're just actually crazy. <laughs> Um, yeah, they should have just died. Just sacrificial. Like, it's it's fine. And then Ellie survives, and there's, like, this hopeful ending to Dead Space that they've finally put it behind them. Um, but yeah, unfortunately not. It continues, and they go to Earth to conquer Earth things. Um, yeah. There's no part of me that w is even, like, missing the fact that there's no Dead Space 4 to continue that story, because I didn't want that story to continue. You know what I mean? Not every story has to just continue on forever. It's good to end things sometimes, and a very important thing is knowing when to end things. Uh, like, we have another Predator movie coming out this year, for example, but it's not based on any of the other Predator movies. It's going to be based on a Predator journeying to Earth for the first time, and it's going to be called Prey. And it's like, that's an interesting concept, but, like, you've got... We only had The Predator a few years ago. I couldn't even make it through watching that movie. Uh, Predators was fun. But like, it's just like the, they just keep going, people love this character, so or, or this icon, horror icon, so let's keep doing it and keep making stuff. But they can never get it to be as good as it was in the original, you know what I mean? They just, because, I don't know, they keep trying to tread, they keep treading the same path. And it's never going to be as good as it was when they first did it. Uh, but instead of trying to create something new in that era, they just... They just go, get this, because it's familiar and people like it, and they'll go see it. And it, it doesn't matter if they hate it, because they paid to see it. Um, that's a bit of a tangent on just horrors, con horror stories continuing, and they keep adding to it when 
they could just put it to bed and just be happy with what they've made, you know? But there you go. Um, we're going to wait and see if there's a zinger at the end of the credits of Dead Space 3 Awakening 2, because, I mean, who, who knows if there is and it continues, but I'm fully expecting us to just go back to the menu as that was our little post-credits gameplay sequence of get, get excited for Dead Space 4, guys, and it, and it never came, so uh, we'll see if anything pops up after the credits, and then we'll, uh, we'll round this one out. All right, we're back at the main menu. No stinger at the end of those credits, unfortunately. So that was it. That was the Awakening DLC of Dead Space 3. I wish none of this had ever happened, <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, we round out the Dead Space story with, uh, with Dead Space 3 finally. All in all, like I said, like last episode, did enjoy, uh, did enjoy the game. Had a couple of letdowns and then yeah, I don't really, I don't really know about this DLC. Probably didn't really need. It kind of sours the experience of Dead Space Three, tacking this one on at the end, trying to like force a continuation of the storyline. But it is what it is. But thank you so much for joining me for the Dead Space Three playthrough in general. It's actually been good to round out this uh, this trilogy with this game. Um, I'll be looking at doing the same for a couple of other horror games coming up on the channel shortly as well. There's never a shortage of horror content to play, so looking forward to some other things. And then, I guess, eventually we'll revisit Dead Space when the remake of the first game comes out. So that'll be that'll be pretty exciting. Um, be eager to get some more from that and see what's see what's going on there. Cautiously optimistic, but we'll see how we go. So, thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.